did it. Lee's off to the raft. The Devil's Breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroics for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. I kind of needed that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spider-Man. <sighs> All this time with Lee, I've been ignoring the city. Time to get back to being a friendly neighborhood Spidey. So yeah, it has been a while, but last time we apprehended Mr. Negative and stopped him from activating Devil's Breath. You night owls may have seen lights flickering out at the raft Supermax prison last night. Sadly, it was not because one of their inmates got the chair. No. Apparently, someone there hit on an idea I actually think has merit which is making that recidivist criminal Electro pay for his room and board by powering the prison himself, saving taxpayers money. Not surprisingly, though, it turns out he hates actual work as much as he loves robbing and murdering, so they had to go back to the city's grid, which I'd imagine is why I still can't run my microwave and toaster at the same time without blowing a fuse. And yeah, Mr. Negative is now incarcerated at the raft, the Supermax prison for supervillains alongside Electro and the Vulture and all those guys. Now before we do anything else, let's just take a quick look at Spider-Man's social media page here and look at the replies. See if there's anything funny or interesting. Now this episode is going to be focusing on side stuff in general. In fact, the next few episodes are going to be focusing on side stuff in general, because there is a lot of it. And I kind of want to get it done before we, before we enter the next sort of main story point. So yeah, we have some side quests to do, some collectibles to get, a couple of demon hideouts as well as fish construction sites to take care of, and of course the research stations for Oscorp. And we'll be knocking all of those out, slowly but steadily. I have fewer opinions than small talk requires of me. Yeah, I feel you buddy, I feel you. Now also we do have some new suits that we well, we could craft if we had the tokens, we need some base tokens and some challenge tokens, so... So we're gonna have to take a look at that. Now we could also craft a couple of new gadgets if we had the tokens for it, but... At this point we really don't. So that's gonna have to wait as well. We do, however, have a couple of new suits that were added in patches. Here is the, what was this called, web suit, which is the suit from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. I think this is the one from Spider-Man 2. I'm not entirely sure. They are slightly different in those movies. But nobody cares about that, because here is the legendary bombastic Bagman. Which, yeah, I don't think there is a whole lot to say about that one as well as the Future Foundation suit, which I probably should have looked up beforehand where this is actually from. I'm not recognizing it, it does not look familiar to me at all, so... So I need to take a look at that at some point. But for now, let's put on the Raimi suit, I suppose. People were clamoring for this for, for months. And Insomniac finally ended up adding it to the game late last year and I quite like it, it looks really nice the shiny web patterns and all that stuff looks really good but for now we have some work to do at Times Square because, because we have some some technical difficulties you could say on the LED billboards
So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. And Spider-Man has helpfully described what we have to do here. So we just aim at the billboards and fire an electric web at them and that'll be it. Each screen individually. Yes, thank you. And we have 20 of these and I will cut to the end of this in a little bit because you don't really have to. You don't really need to see me go through all of these. Every single one. Because, I mean, it's just the same thing over and over. Maybe someday there will be a billboard of me that doesn't say menace on it. Just one more left to go. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. Then they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station... And that takes care of that. Okay, I think things are sort of under control. Maybe I should put in some Peter Parker time at the lab. We're not gonna go to the lab in quite some time, so... That is going to have to wait. Now first off, or next up I should say, we have one of the Taskmaster challenges, namely a bomb challenge or another bomb challenge. Bombs aren't gonna defuse themselves. This is pretty similar to the first one and I'll cut most of this out as well. I will actually be cutting most of these out in general because they are pretty much the same thing over and over. I'll just show off a couple of fun moments that happened here. Okay, took care of that one. And yeah, not that one, that was just a basic. Well, that's how you're supposed to dispose of the bombs. Throw it away and web it up. So we head on over to the east for the next bomb. Whoops. Well, I was trying to web it up, but there was a tree in the way. Good job, Spider-Man. You Muppet. So close to perfection. But that's a silver medal for our troubles, and we almost got gold. We probably would have gotten gold if I hadn't screwed up that one bomb, but, but it doesn't really matter. We will have plenty of challenge tokens to go around. So now... Hold on. Here's another call of a type I've been getting a lot lately. Me! Mr. Jameson, I want to apologize. I used to think you were an alarmist. But look what's happened to the city. I'm afraid to walk the streets. As well you should. And I accept your apology. It's understandable you were bamboozled by the mainstream voices telling you everything was dandy, nothing to worry about. Go out and consume. Don't ask questions. I was a lone voice in the wilderness then, but now more and more people like you are realizing who spoke the truth. And that, my friends, is how we will take our city back. Yeah, we'll be hearing a lot of Jameson in these upcoming videos. But right now, we have a demon hideout to infiltrate. Or rather, go into and beat everyone up. Which I guess technically does not count as infiltration, but never mind. Hi! We can fight, or hear me out, we can barbecue! Whew, getting brisk out here. Better go in. 
might as well. Actually, there is a landmark right around the corner, and I was thinking of going for that, but I'll leave that for later. And without further ado... MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just, like, walking around? Must make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. Now, once again, I will be mostly hitting the highlights when it comes to these, these hideouts, because you don't really have to see me go through an extended fight sequence with waves of demons. Just first get a look at the lay of the land, see the layout of the place. What we've got here, and that sort of thing. You're in time out. Okay, time to fight. Could have pulled that shelf down on these guys. I should have done that actually, but kind of forgot about it. Time for a shift change, huh? Good. Did these other guys not impress me? We got a swordsman on the field, as well as a shield man. Peter, that place is supposed to be bespoke furniture manufacturer. From what I can see, it's more like illegal weapons. And this might come as a shock, but I don't think they're really bespoke. The hipster assassins are gonna be so disappointed. Yeah, if the sword demon and the shield demon combine their powers, they might be very formidable indeed. I'll take that if you don't mind. Doing, a, doing pretty okay combo wise, I think. Up to 95. I forget what my best combo was up until this point. But there goes that stupid swordsman. And just the last guy to take out, and we take a rocket in the face because I'm stupid. MJ, call the police. I've got the place secured. Nice job. Anytime we can get guns off the street, it's a win. But that went pretty okay. We got both the bonus objectives and all that stuff, so... So yeah, not too bad. Now here we have the landmark, the the um the bar here, Josie's bar. And what does this lady want? Let's go. Very nice. Yeah, high five. I like the interactions with the pedestrians. Just this nice little detail that I quite appreciate. Not just 
This is the problem with that masked maniac. The police are able to coordinate efforts, block streets, lay down tire shredding strips because they're a team. Spider-Man is a one-man show who cares about one thing. Spider-Man! And you almost paid for that. With your life. Lovely. And that was the third Jameson episode of this video, and I'm not entirely sure if it's the last, I keep forgetting. But anyway, we have three skill points available, so we'll take the Chain Finisher skill, which, as the name suggests, allows us to follow up a finishing move with another one. Immediately. Which, when you get surrounded, is, as you might expect, very useful. It does not take up any any focus either, so so it's it's really good. Very nice to have. At this point, I think it might be time for a change of wardrobe, as we have gotten some tokens. Could get the wrestler suit, but... I think we'll go Tron for the rest of this episode. The suit power of this one is quad damage, which does what it says on the tin. Four times the normal damage, so so that will be useful in some cases. In many cases, really. Felicia's close to her goal, and I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. But never mind that, because we have one of our two final Black Cats takeouts to take care of and find where she has broken into last. Yep. Hello, cat. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. But most importantly, we have this lovely new drawing. These are just... Just really sweet. Also I have to say I really like how this suit looks in gameplay. I wasn't really a fan of it in the menu, in the preview. And the sort of gauntlets on the wrists kind of look like... I don't know, they kind of... I'm not a fan of those, but... Aside from those, very nice looking suit. Supposedly, Fisk made his fortune selling these spices. I mean, they're good, but not that good. And I also don't recall what story this is from. Something to have to do with fear itself. I probably should have done my research before I started recording this, but never mind. So let's take care of this final stakeout. This is control. What's your status? APC under fire. Repeat, we are taking fire. Both oh god. Mind of the city hall bombing has finally been brought to justice and shocking. It's philanthropist Martin Lee. Now I'll discuss in a moment what kind of twisted Jekyll and Hyde mentality it takes to lead such a double life. But first, a word of caution to everyone celebrating. Yes, it's good that he's in jail, but look at all the things we didn't know. How long was he a suspect without anyone telling us? How long did he have a deadly biological weapon that could kill us all? Shouldn't we have been told? Evacuated the city? It's not an accident that we weren't given the information we need to protect ourselves and our families. Someone made that decision. Was it the police? The mayor? I know one guilty party for sure, and his initials are Spider-Man. And that was Jameson number four. He is consistent, I'll give him that. Okay, and now for the stakeout. One last drawing. And then we will find Black Cat, hopefully. One more location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. In my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. 
I reach her before she gets to 50 and she might go straight. I wouldn't necessarily bet on it. Huh. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia quick. Found her hideout. Gotta get there before she leaves town. We have our destination, so let's go. We'll finally catch up with Black Cat. Don't know if she's gonna go straight or anything like that, but... But maybe we can at least find some information, find out some, info some information about what she's up to. Freedom Tunnel. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. And I just absolutely love how this suit looks in dark areas. We're, we're just going full Tron at this point. Bingo. This looks like everything she stole, but no sign of Felicia. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? I'm sure that will never be relevant in any way, shape or form. Ooh, nice kitties. Come on, Spider-Man. Oh, look. Here we go. The cat's dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute. Very cute. Now, I just have to wonder... How did Black Cat get all of this in here? Musk reported this stolen a few years back. Especially without anyone noticing. I mean, it is secluded, but... Wine from a Magia vineyard. But it's not like it's completely devoid of people, this general area. There are people walking around and everything, so... Wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. Is there like a moving company that does work for criminals? Maybe I'm slightly overanalyzing this. Hello. Spider. You raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more... flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? <laughs> 